Hi everyone, my name is Mandy Morgan. I'm here with the Tar Flower Chapter of the Florida Native Plant Society at the UF IFAS Extension Office in Orange County out at their uh, native wildflower meadow garden. And I was going to discuss with you today a few beginner native plants that you can incorporate into your home landscape. So even incorporating just a few native plants into your home landscapes can help benefit and support local ecosystems that non-native plants sometimes cannot, um, such as supporting uh, local wildlife, pollinators, and um, providing biodiversity in the landscape. So a few things that you wanna consider when you start planting your own little uh, native uh, landscape garden is one, the amount of space that you want to allot to your native garden. Two, the conditions that you have in your yard, such as your soil and light conditions. And thirdly, uh, the aesthetic that you're going for. So a lot of the plants that I'm gonna be talking about today are from the native meadow garden. So they'll want full sun and moderate to dry moisture levels. Um, You'll also want to consider different textures that you put into your garden. So having grasses, uh, wildflowers, and larval host plants will all be, it'll be a good mixture of all of those things. So if you just have a small plot to work with um, and you're thinking about the grasses that you want to include in your native garden, um, the Sparabolus or Pineland drop seed is a really nice one. It stays lower to the ground and it still has these really beautiful inflorescences that um, small birds will actually come and eat the seeds off of. And another grass that would be good if you just have a smaller um, amount of space would be the love grasses. And we'll show you a few of those later. And if you do have a larger plot and you're looking for one of those really beautiful showy plumes, um, the dwarf Fakahatchee grass, which is right here behind me, has really beautiful plumes in the fall. Um, or even the lopsided Indian grass, which you can see to the left here, and it is seeding right now. So the, you definitely wanna have a few grass species in your garden. It just adds a different texture. A lot of the native grasses are actually larval host plants, so they support uh, butterflies and moths. And uh, the next thing that you'll wanna look for in your native garden is what kind of wildflowers you'll wanna incorporate. So one of my favorites, Scutellaria. This one only stay, gets up to two feet tall. And while it doesn't look like much right now, it actually has really beautiful little purple flowers. They're flowering in the spring and the fall, and they will readily reseed. And just a little fun fact about Scutellaria is that it is a medicinal plant, so you can steep a really nice tea out of dried leaves. So you can pick the leaves and uh, make a nice tea out of it. It's supposed to have a relaxing, calming effect. Um, so those make a nice kind of an edge, edge, plant, uh, edge plant, so they stay kind of low. Uh, another really easy beginner plant for the native garden would be the Black-Eyed Susan or Rudbeckia. Uh, they bloom, I would say, late summer through fall as you can see now and they're a really great uh, pollinator source for local bees and butterflies and those ones they're gonna reseed readily and they're gonna die back in the winter so you'll want to cut them off after all the seeds have dispersed um, another really good wild flower to plant in your yard would be the uh, blue curls so these have really cute little purplish blue flowers. They do get kind of big and they readily reseed, but they're a great uh, supporter for bees. And they're very easy. You really don't have to do much. Maybe you want to cut them back once or twice a year to keep them from getting too large. So you'll want to incorporate a few larval host plants into your native garden so that you can further support our butterflies and moths. And one of the most widely known and available is native milkweed. So this supports the monarch butterfly caterpillar. The caterpillars will actually eat the leaves of this until they're ready to go into chrysalis. So this one doesn't look like much now, but it's um, Asclepias incarnata, and it is one of our na 22 native species to the state of Florida. And it actually gets really nice um, 
white flowers in the spring summer and there are other species of milkweed that you can plant as well we do try to veer people away from the uh, tropical milkweed the one that you'll find at your local box retail stores um, we just try to veer people towards getting the native one in the ground so thank you for tuning in today and I hope that you learned something about native plants for beginners. There are some really good um, references on the Florida Native Plant Society website, fmps.org, if you are interested in starting your own native plant garden. Also the Florida Wildflower Foundation has a great um, site where you can find more information on natives and where to find them.